I just feel like I feel like if you're mad about somebody's one word responses, that's a form of communication. Yeah. And so if that strong suit in communication is a turn off to you, but then you also are somebody who you admit it to yourself, you suck at communication. You just listen. To me, you're Woo! I think you're fraud. frauding. Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Kites here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, peoples? Hey, Arletta Muley just dropped Pop the Balloon episode 14. She just dropped it 50 minutes ago. So, hey, we getting it fresh. So, this video's gonna be out for y'all. Anyway, we uh, started the Walking Dead series episode. Next episode should drop tomorrow. So, you guys be ready for that if you guys are watching it. Also, you know, if you guys got anything else you guys want us to react, always let us know in the comments. All right, guys. We're not gonna talk. We're not gonna talk too long. We're gonna jump straight into it. Also, we got the new hoodies. She got the fraud watch hat. Anyway, we're gonna jump straight into it. This is episode fourteen. Our little muleys pop the balloon. You feel me? You feel me? Who is that? No. To find love. You feel me? You feel me? Let's go. Okay, Arlet, you know what you're doing. Okay. Clean. Oh, I like the uh the beanie. Okay. That's cute. Okay. You look like a dentist. Uh, Steph Curry? Oh, never mind. Yes. <laughs> Look like him, no? He look like Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, big boys. We support the big boys out here, man. Get yourself a big homie. Okay. Okay. Aw. Y'all look cool. Terrence? Terrence? What up, Terrence? This is Nerf Terrence. <laughs> It's, that's Terrence after Is that the, a G shot? That's Terrence after the patch note hits and they took some of his stats away. Nerfed him. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise, guys. Yeah. All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're going to be bringing out some single ladies <laughs> one by one. When she comes What's around up? What this happened? corner. What you loving it? I love Humble Hood, but he look like half a pimp with this hat on. Oh, no, nah, my goat. <laughs> Shout out to Humble Hood, bro. You know, if she's your type, toes done, hair did, makeup looking right, you know, whatever it is, everything she says, you're feeling it. Do he not clean, pop your though. balloon. Yeah. However, if there's something she said, you're like, ooh, this is not my type or, you know, something, whatever it is. If you're not feeling her, go ahead and pop it. And I'll go over to, you know, a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. It's a tall lineup, too. Yeah. They're going to still use that excuse. Yeah. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Tony. Tony? Okay, Tony. Tony, how old are you? 25. 25, okay. And what do you do? I have a rental car business, a real estate business, and I um, have a clothing business online. Okay, okay, very cool. Now, what are some things that you like to do for fun? I love going swimming. Um, I love doing business and I love going to the movies. Okay. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I look for a provider, a leader, someone I can follow, someone I can submit to, be submissive, and someone that makes me feel like a princess. So. Okay. Princess Streamer only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, oh, we forgot to ask. How many matches y'all think gonna happen? This video is an hour and 13 minutes. So I say, you see, I went with three last time. And did I, was I right? Yeah, we were both right. Yeah, we, we were right. Okay. I, I normally, on average, she typically gets three. So that's why I go with three. I'm going to be optimistic today because nobody's popping yet. I'm going to take a gamble. I think this may be the most, pat, like, most matches she's ever had. So I'm going to say four. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to stick with my three. Three? Okay. I'm taking four. I'm having faith in y'all. I need a man of God. Mm -hmm. I um I want to go to church. You know, I know people probably don't go to church 
every Sunday, but mm -hmm. you know, so, so often, um, someone that, someone that, you know, can be my best friend. We can build something together and, okay. you know, just connect on a good level. Got it. Okay. So Tony, there are no pop balloons. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to happen is I'm actually now going to switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm going to have you pop. Mm, let's see. There's quite a lot of guys. So I'm going to have you pop three balloons to start off. Okay. Okay. Kind of based off of what you're seeing so far. Hey, I keep looking at the big homie's feet. Hey, big homie. Hey, we bigger boys. We got to rock tinny shoes and Nike slides, bro. We can't do the uh, the, sockless, the socksless shoes, bro. It don't look right. We got a little bit of hefty ankles, man. We got we to gotta dress to our element, big dog. But I love you, man. Shout out to you, man. Far, you know, who doesn't really hey, this is a big outfit. First what off, this is big boy to big boy conversation. You're not a big boy, so don't. Stay, big boy. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, okay? Whatever it may be. I know they haven't fine. said anything, so it's going to be a little bit tough. Yeah. But let me go ahead and give you that pic. Okay. There you go. And then I'll have you pop those three, and then I'll... Go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. So just whenever you're okay. ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the big boys. Okay, two more. Um. And our last one. Go for bull boy at the end because he's shortest. Yep. yep. Man, it's, okay. it's, you Let's can read it like a book here. at this point. Oh. So if we can start off with your name and age. Uh, Mark, and I'm 27. And Mark, what do you do? I'm a musician. I write songs and I sing. Okay. Yes, sir. Very cool. So you did have your balloon unpopped for Tony. Why so? Um, I thought she was attractive, and I liked some of the things she said about looking for a leader and willing to be submissive in her, in her relationship. Okay. okay. Right. So. And so, Tony, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, I mean... <laughs> Say what it say is. Okay. <laughs> Just say what you gotta say. You know, I typically don't go for heavier set guys. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. Just say you <laughs> ain't a fan of bears. It's all good. But, I mean, ain't I no come disrespect. From a family of you know, just heavier set people, and I just, I guess, opposites attract. So Got it. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. You ended up popping here. If we can start off with your name and age. Yeah, my name is Namdi, and I'm 29. Okay. And Namdi, what do you do? Uh, I work in finance for a healthcare company. Right. Okay. Very cool. And so you did have your balloon unpopped for Tony. Why so? Uh, she was cool. Uh, I would just wanted to hear a little bit more. Okay. Um, I like her. I like her swag. I mean, she's pretty. Yeah. Thank I like you. her. She's cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now Tony, why do we end up popping his balloon? I I don't really like the outfit. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't like the outfit. Okay. What are you not feeling about it? I I don't like the jeans. Oh, them laces um, the crazy work. shoes. Mm. They're laughing though, so. Uh. <laughs> it don't matter what the the brand of the shoe is, gang. It don't go with the fit. <laughs> it's like that's like when people used to get them them fresh all white Jordans and they threw it with every combination of clothing possible. Dude will be wearing like some neon green skinny jeans with a purple and black tee with some all white <laughs> some all yeah. white J's, bro. Like like bro, just cause the shoe is name brand don't mean it fit every time, man. Yeah. It's not no DCs over here. They're what? <laughs> They're Levins or Lavins or whatever. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh I'm sorry, DCs. Okay. Yeah. I got right. you. <laughs> Let's go over to our last guy over here. Hmm. All right, if we can start off with your name and age. My name is Sean. I'm 27. And Sean, okay. what do you Shout do? Out to Sean. I am a content creator on YouTube and okay. an entrepreneur. Very cool. And why did you have your balloon unpopped for Tony? Uh, her skin is glowing. The yeah. outfit is like that. Um, Thank the chain, you. the teeth is white. <laughs> I just wanted to know a little bit more about her. Okay. Nice. And so, Tony, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, you look great. Um, I love the outfit, and you look very nice. Um, it's just I'm a little taller than you in heels, and that's that's it. It's just I'm a little taller in, in heels. That's we can't get away from it, but at least she said in heels this yeah. time because there's definitely women that came on here five feet tall talking about some I can't date a man who's too short, and the dude was five eight. So I just uh. Oh. Okay. But you look great. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you. 
thank you. Let's head on back. All right, so we still do have quite a few unpopped balloons. So Tony, I'm gonna have you have, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Okay, um, what are you guys' goals and aspirations? Where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with you. Let's start with your name and age and then um, just your name and age first. <laughs> I'm Gerard, I'm 26. Okay. And Gerard, what do you do? Um, uh, I do cyber work for the government. Very cool. And then if you want to go ahead and answer a question. So in the next three to five years, I'll be done with my master's degree. Okay. Um, uh, I'll own my first property. And, yeah, I'll be uh, senior level in the government for cybersecurity. Speaking so to existence. I'll go for the next three to five years. So you have your master's degree. Are you in school now? I mean, I'm in grad or you're working now. towards your master's degree, so you're yep. in school now? Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, let's go to our next guy over here. If we can have your name and age. See, you gotta play around. You can't play around with dudes like them, though. You get one argument, you say something he don't like. Guess what? Your whole everything is just posted on some uh some dark web website. Oh, for two ninety nine, make her disappear, man. Be careful. That's crazy. Be careful, man. My name is Daryl. I'm twenty seven. And Daryl, what do you do? Um, I'm a content creator, artist, as well as yes, uh, sir. You know, Shout out to Humble. And if you want to go ahead and answer her question. Um, in the next three to five years, I look to influence the younger generation to be better people. I'm a content creator as well as an artist. So uh, just try to uh, do my part in making the world a better place. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Your name and age? Hi, my name is Chi. I'm 28. Okay. Chi, what do you do? I'm a pharmacist. All right. Hey, and then you want to go ahead and answer a question? Yeah, as far as goals in the next three to five years, um, I'd like to see myself married in the next three to five years and um, okay. definitely maybe owning a home. So looking to get some property, um, also kind of further my investments, um, just growth, uh, financial literacy, things that I'm working on right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Speaking into existence. Your name and age? My name is Kingston and I'm 24. Okay. Kingston, okay. what do you do? Um, I manage the uh, security team. Mm -hmm. Cool. And go ahead and answer a question. So my goal for right now is like just to make more money than my previous year, um, and I always want to be mentally stable um, each year as I go. Yeah. Okay, that's you know what that's fine, that's fine. But you you want to start having ambitions. You want to start like making more money is always gonna be everybody's definite goal. But now you want to start having ambitions towards what do you do with said money. Because you can have it, but if you don't have any plans to casually, like plans on how you're going to spend it, then you're just going to stack money and you're going to blow money. Then you're going to stack money and blow it. So start setting a goal for when you get the money, I'm doing X, Y, Z. You don't have a game plan, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Your name and age? I'm Junior and I'm 31. Okay. And Junior, what do you do? I'm a recruiter. I work in tech. Oh, okay. And if you want to go ahead and answer her question. Yeah, so uh, I'd like to be like a HR manager in the next probably two years or so. Uh, I would also do Airbnb, so probably like another property. I have one right now in Austin. And so that's nice. okay. in the next couple of years. Nice. Okay. And we got one last one down here. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. I'm Red. I'm Steph 30 Curry. years old. Okay. And Red, what do you do? I'm an electric vehicle specialist. I work on gasoline vehicles and electric vehicles. Okay. And if you want to yeah. just go ahead and answer her question. Um, in the next three to five years, I want to have my own shop with uh, all the cars. You know, they mechanics mm -hmm. got a bad name. I'm trying to clear that name up, you know, okay. and fix all the cars, electric, <laughs> gasoline. I'm going to get my own vending machine business. I already bought one. I'm going to get like okay. five more, and I'm going to expand, and then the rest is history. Yeah. And you also, you also trying to have the highest three-point shot average in the league, brother. We know who you are. I don't know how you got away from uh, OKC, all them other teams. I don't know how you got away from them. But uh, Golden State, I don't know how you got away from them. But, you, brother, we know what you are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I am going to go ahead and have you pop two balloons okay. based off of those responses you heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, two. Two. Mm-hmm. Gonna pop humble hood. Nah. Okay, and then just one more. Humble hood, no. No, how I tell you? Okay, since we're here, let's start here. So why'd you end up popping Daryl's? What enough? 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so out of all of them, you weren't sure what made you pick him? He's really I cute. I love your eyes. Um, I guess the shoes. Okay. Didn't really. <gasps> Not the kicks. Come on, gang. The shoes just didn't really catch my attention. But, I mean, you're great. You're a great guy. I mean, it really wasn't. You were just a pop balloon. Yeah. It really wasn't <laughs> nothing wrong with you. Okay. All right. And let's go to the second one. We ended up hopping. It was right here. Okay. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, humble. Nah, humble. Let's keep it a band. Let's keep it a band. You know, you've been in this situation, too. So don't, don't. You know, you got to give her grace. But you could have cleaned up the kicks, too, though. Let's keep it a band. What's you, wrong with his kicks? His kicks was definitely dirty. I, I think there's a... Nah. I don't know if they're white or beige, they but... Wasn't. Nah, they're dirty. They're dirty for sure. Didn't really... Hold on. Let me see, get the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. But... Didn't really... This... Nah, the kicks is dirty. You can see the, uh, the little... The dirt stain right here. Side. It's wearing tear though. There's nothing That's wrong. Superficial. I get it, but you come into you come into impress. You know your shoes. Shoes say a lot about a person too. How you maintain your shoes it says a lot the about shoes a person. Just didn't really catch my attention. But I mean, nah, great, do I think that's a valid guy. reason for her to pop? No, but I get it. Blue. Yeah, it really wasn't <laughs> nothing wrong with you. <laughs> All right. And let's go to the second one. We ended up popping. I came in into this world naked. It's right here. So okay, so why do you end up popping? Anything on my body is a extra. I ended up popping um I ended up popping because the goals and aspirations just kind of didn't align with mine. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I thought good. we were both in the rental business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but it's just she don't want nobody working for somebody else. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's head on back. All right, so Tony, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys another question just so we can narrow them down a bit more. Does anybody have any kids? Oh, one down there. Not one Steph Curry. Child. Okay. Who got kids? Um, let's walk down okay. over there. <laughs> Steph and Curry, I knew it was you. <laughs> And it was red, right? Yeah. Okay, red. How many kids you have? I got one kid. One kid? Okay. Yeah, and he one years old, so he he pretty fresh. Ooh! Um, <laughs> I have to pop your balloon. No. It's all right. I, 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 ain't, even, I ain't even gonna fault you for it. All right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, red, you did have your balloon unpopped for her. Why so? I mean, you know, you could look at her. You know, she coming good. I see. You know. Figure looking good and Thank got the, you. you all put together, you know. I can see you came for looking for a date, you know, looking for love. And, Thank you. You know, so I'm just letting you know I'm feeling you. Yeah. I know I got a little one year old, but you know, you know, he he I understand, you know, I ain't no pardon body, you know, ain't nothing bad about it. It's a little fresh for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's real fresh. So I got a question. For for when people have kids and they don't work out, right? What is a time a time frame that is like a suitable time for like you just had your kid or you have a kid and now you can come back to the dating market? Because I feel like maybe two years is a good little, you know, there's enough time for you to be over the baby mama or, or the baby daddy and then jump into it. I feel like two years is fair. I say three years. Three years? Okay. Three years personally because three years... It's enough time. They'll be, they'll be getting ready to start going to daycare and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. You build a routine for yourself. Yeah. And when you add another person to that, you got to be disciplined within yourself to even take on another person. Right now, you just you just all over the place. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He's a fresh dude. But I mean, it's all good, though. You know, you beautiful yeah. woman, like I said. you know, He got an Afro man. samurai tattoo. Thank yeah. you. Not a problem. Now, apart from him having a kid and that being a deal breaker for you, is he someone that is your type? Um, yes, I can see us kind of connecting, okay. or, you know, he's, he looks nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You look nice too. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Really. Thank you. All right, let's head back this way. Okay, fellas, any questions for Tony? You got a question? Okay. Let me just walk all the way back here. <laughs> Go ahead. So how often do you wear makeup? 
Uh, I don't here we go. actually. I only wear makeup like in, on events, parties, maybe to the club, but on a regular basis, I don't wear makeup at all. Okay. When you put makeup on, do you like layer a lot? Does it take you like hours to put makeup on, or does it take you like ten minutes, thirty minutes? Like how long? Typically, it takes about a couple hours. Yes. Bro. It's a pampering process. Bro. Oh. <laughs> bro. All right, bro. You going Nah, nah. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Dude, before y'all sit there and celebrate and champion him like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Let's let's come on now. Let's let's be let's be let's be fair in the dating game here. Let's be fair. That was not a valid reason. Because she said she only does it for events. She doesn't do it every day. She does so she, for the majority of her time, she's rocking the natural look. That was not a valid reason to pop. Let's let's be let's be genuine here. Maybe he took it as when they go on dates, she's gonna be putting on makeup every time they go on dates. Which and I why would, would I don't understand why would that be a problem for why him? Why wouldn't she want your partner to look as they're in their comfortable, most comfortable state when they go out with you? Right. If you were a fan of makeup and you were like, babe, I wanna put on makeup, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, when you feel like a million bucks. I feel like a million bucks. I have makeup. I'm just lazy. It's just like let's just, let's go. I don't got time for that. Hey man, I'm this lazy. Is me. Too. On me. I'm this lazy. This is me. Okay. And uh, obviously, makeup is a no for you, or? Yeah, I like you know, I get off work. Hey boo, get ready. I'm gonna be home in thirty minutes. Let's go out. I don't want to wait in the park. You not oh. gonna hold on? You not gonna take no shower or nothing? He he want to do the spontaneous right. like get up and go type yeah, stuff. Yeah, he okay. Now, now if you plan it, women will get up an hour or two early just so they can have that time to do their hair and makeup. Yeah, but spontaneous but like come on, let's go. That's very that's very selfish though because what if she's doing something important? You just hey get up, let's go. I'll be home in thirty minutes. We're going out for dinner. You ain't even check with her schedule or nothing. No, that's Fucking why you gotta have the basics done already. Your last you minute eyebrows. Makeup, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a deal breaker for me. Okay. Okay. You okay. pretty though. You're really pretty. You got a great body. Yeah. Thank you. He doesn't want to wait in the parking lot for a couple hours for me to get ready. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Tony, is he someone that's your type? Yeah. I like his little swag. He's cute. So yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I don't want to wait for you when I, when I get off questions? work. I'm ready to go. Like what? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Okay. So uh, when you're in a relationship, how do you show your significant other that you care about them? Must be hot in there. Just time and affection. I think my time is very valuable. And, you know, me giving my time is just something that I show for affection. Um, I also, I mean, on special occasions, I give gifts sometimes. But I really feel like it's all on the man. Like, I feel like you have to teach me how to cater to you, you know. So it just, it just depends the case-by-case -case scenario. Like... On the type of person I'm dealing with. Okay. Okay. We did get a pop balloon. Let's head on over here. Mm -hmm. Why did we end up popping? Yeah, wasn't really feeling her answer. Um, obviously, it's genuine. It's authentic. That's how you feel. But I feel like, you know, things that you want to do for your partner shouldn't really be predicated on what he does. Uh -huh. I feel like you should just maybe know. Are you a gift giver? Do you like quality time? Do you, you know what I mean? I feel like. It's just innate. I don't. No, no, that's not because not every man is the same. And we've we've seen enough of these shows to know every man is not the same. Some men will be satisfied with just having her time. A lot of men would be satisfied with receiving gifts. A lot of men would be satisfied with only physical touch. Every man is not the same. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, she's supposed to be a, a exclusive support system for you. So it makes sense for her to adapt to what you want. She's not going to just innately know what you want. Not every man wants the same thing. And I don't think it's healthy to uh, get into relationships and treat every man just as you did the last, the last one. Exactly. So it is a case by case and it is you're learning. You're learning a new person every time you choose to date somebody long term, short term or whatever the case may be. So I just think it's lazy work to sit here and say like, no, like every man's gonna like this, 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 and this. Just give it to That's me. That's not true. No, every man is every man is different and every woman is different. 
if some anything, women don't know how to do that. If anything, you it would be better for you to get a partner who is willing to adapt to everything that you you demand of her versus her coming in here with another man's predisposition on her. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't rock with that one. I didn't really feel like you had a good understanding of maybe what you typically like to do. So. Okay. It's about how she makes her man happy. Now, is he someone that is your type? Oh. Um, yeah. 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 He's somebody that I could give a chance. Yeah. She got okay. popped on. All right, cool. Thank you. And we ended up getting a pop back here. It's because it's did we men end up hearing our other men's Yeah, answers. I kind of agree with what he said. Um, I was looking for a more specific answer, like actions that you would take to show him. But um, yeah, your answer was good in your own way. But yeah, for me, I was looking for a more specific answer. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, Tony, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons Dang. popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That that one, the men kind of, man, we kind of went out bad on that one because I know there's gonna be hundreds and hundreds of men who are hearing what he's saying and they're getting excited, like, yeah, man, she should, bro. Y'all are the same dudes that will sit there and when a woman comes and does say, I do this, 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 and I don't do nothing else. This is what I do for my man. Y'all be like, well, what about this? What about this? Why don't she do that? That's why she's not marriage material. So y'all y'all are making it almost impossible now. No woman is going to be perfect. She's not going to be perfect for every man. And if there is a woman that is perfect for every single man she gets in a relationship with, she wouldn't have multiple relationships. Y'all 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 asking for for Houdini magicians. My wife as an example, she did not have everything I needed in there. Just like I didn't have everything she needed as a husband. Guess what we learned? Each other. Say it again. Each other. That's how relationships work. Y'all want to build a wife and then y'all get mad when women want to build a husband, but y'all doing the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Be zero for one. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Uh, my name is Taylor. Taylor, okay. Taylor, how old are you? I'm 23. 23, okay. and what do you do? I'm a she staffing She looks like Omari on Baby Mama. Studio. Very cool. What are some things you like to do for fun? April? Um, April? I like to go to the gym, Pilates, yoga, um, Pilates. painting. I'm not good at painting, but I still like to do okay. it. Um, I like going to concerts, so yeah. All right, very nice. All right, and now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I'm definitely looking for like a best friend, a partner, someone who we just like get each other on a different level and someone who's romantic, um, responsible, self-sufficient, so yeah. All right, and now what are some of your deal breakers? Someone who doesn't have a relationship with God or at least trying to pursue one. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's like on their own journey. I'm still on my journey. So right. as long as we get to the destination. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So we don't have any pop balloons right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and actually switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you with the first round pop three balloons. Oh. Yes. Okay. So just kind of based <laughs> off what you're seeing, you know, someone who doesn't really fall into your type so much. So let me give you... Um, this and then you could just go over and pop those three and then i'll ask you why it ended up popping you said three three yep three balloons <laughs> um, oh short king's gonna go down first oh uh, no and big boy and big boy unfortunate big homie sorry okay. okay two more don't touch big homie don't touch big homie okay. and uh, one more Oh no. Oh no. Don't touch big homie. I'm sorry. Okay. Step we'll Curry. Start down there. Okay. okay, we can start off with your name and age. I'm Red and I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Red, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Because she's looking right and something that I can get used to, you know. Yeah. And she looks, she looks very Thank beautiful. You. Beautiful frame, you know. Thank you. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I didn't pop it. Okay. <laughs> And now, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, you look good. I like your freckles. You look real good, but you're just not my usual type. Okay, I understand that, that's that. That's the only. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and let's go to our next one right over here. We can you have your. You remind me of uh, yeah, aunt. You remind me of aunt from um, 
Dang. Atlanta. Oh. Not Thanks, Atlanta. Mom. Uh, What's that movie we just watched? True to the Game? Not True to the Game. Y'all, True to the Game was good. <laughs> what is it called? We just watched it? Yeah, with T.I. At- At- Atlanta. Is it Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. ATL. No, ATL, yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. And Namdi, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I liked her, like, as soon as she's talked about God, uh, I liked that a lot because um, grew up Christian, Catholic, went to private school. Yeah. Um, moms put us all through there. So, you know, God's really important. You know, we had religion and everything. So, and I'm still trying to get back, you know what I'm saying, go to church consistently. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, she, she looks really, you know, so she looks nice. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I would say that the age was, uh, I'm 29 and you're 23, so, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, if you're mature enough, then it wouldn't really matter, okay. but um, I, t- I do typically try to go between, like, five five years, either mm-hmm. younger or five years older, so yeah. um, that would probably be the only thing I would have popped over, mm-hmm. but no, nah, yeah, she's cool. She seemed like she's down to earth, and yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and now why do we end up popping his balloon? Um, you look like my ex, Ooh. actually. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> so, can't do it. <laughs> Hey, you found your doppelganger. You found your doppelganger. Hey, man, ask it. When you get done with this show, uh, you need to go get that ex's uh, his info because one of y'all can only be in this timeline. I'm sorry. She said, I ain't going through that again. Yeah, you found your doppelganger. You need to go handle that, brother. It's for your safety. Amen. <laughs> they always do that for us, dark skin. But that means you look good, though. Appreciate so it. Thank you. But you're not with him no more, so he got to be ugly to you now. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> thank you. And we did have one more pop. So if we can have your name and age. I'm Junior and I'm 31. Okay. And Junior, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I like that she's spiritual. That's that's a big thing to me. Okay. Got it. And then why do we end up popping his? I think it was just the glasses. I couldn't really oh. like connect, you know? Mm. That was it. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, you could ask them to take it off, you know? They never do. <laughs> they, ne- they, just, they just get to popping. But why do you have them on? That's the that's the counter question. It's it's a Why part do you, of, it's a part of his look. It doesn't matter. If you know if you know that you're coming here to for this person to look you up and down and gaze you and observe you, you're not gonna be wearing your glasses every time you see them. So to expect people to come up to you and ask you to take your glasses off, they don't know you. And it, it go the same thing for eyelashes, because you ain't gonna wear eyelashes every time you see them either. Right. And but at least with eyelashes you can still see their eyes and you can see their overall face. Some of them. What well, eyelashes cover the whole eyeball? Point them up. They, the child, you'll be surprised. All right, after this, we're going to do an eyelash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you like me to take them off? Go ahead. Let's see the yeah. face. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I just accessorized, you know. That's all. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys for this next round a question okay. just to kind of help you narrow it down. Okay. Um, what is something that you're passionate about that you could talk about for hours? Mm. Okay. We'll start with your name and age and the answer to her question. My name is Gerard. I'm 26. Uh, so I'm passionate about the cybersecurity field. Okay. I actually run a blog, so it's tailored towards getting uh, minorities in the cybersecurity field. So, wow. okay. um, yeah, I do that in the government, too. So. Yeah, I plan to own my own cybersecurity firm one day. So, yeah, That's I could cool. talk about that for hours. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and the answer to her question. My name is Daryl. I'm 27. I'm passionate about the youth, people in general. I have my education in family and consumer science. I was a teen teacher for a while, I, uh, influencer. I make music. Uh, I'm very passionate about people in general, humans, nature. Okay. Cool. Shout out to Humblehood. Your name and age, and what are you passionate about? My name's Chi. I'm 28. I'm really passionate about music. I don't do music, but just as a fan, consumer, um, music's kind of like the soundtrack to my life, spe- specifically at R&B music. Um, so I'm always listening to music. So, you know, if you were you had good music taste, that's something that we could vibe and connect connect with. Okay. Yeah. You like Bryson Tiller? I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he still plays music? <laughs> Your name and age. Bryson Tiller be dropping songs? Really? Yeah, I think so. I don't listen to him, but I know Bry- I've been hearing his stuff on TikTok. I ain't heard. Bry- I ain't heard the Bryson Tiller songs since hey, high school. Hey, Bryson Tiller, he him though. That's him. Agent, though. what are you passionate about? Don't. Kate Sinner, I'm <laughs> so, so I'm passionate about two things: Marvel, anything with superheroes, 
and conspiracy theories. Ooh, Ooh. okay. I like conspiracy theories. Man, I, love going I wasn't there, like, with the Marvel, Marvel, but I like the conspiracy theories. You don't like Marvel? <laughs> Oh. oh, boy, boy, <laughs> bad night. Boy, get listen, yourself get listen, together. listen, listen. I already let you slide for the for the for the makeup thing. All right, you about to piss me off. I don't like Marvel either. I like DC. Oh <laughs> it's fine. Okay, good. All right, let's go over here. If you Your do pop it, that is the penny. You don't like hey, Iron I'm Mark. Man? I'm 27, <laughs> and I am passionate about music and building a life for my family in the future using music as a tool, like as a vehicle, you know? Okay. 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 Do you him. like sing, you rap, you write? Yeah, I, I write songs and I sing and I rap and I'm just, oh, you do it all. yeah, it's been a part of my life for so long. I just, I love it. It's in me at this point. You know, big boys got them vocals. And, oh, oh, don't worry, boy. we got one more. We gonna go back to him. He He's still popped in. Oh, I'm about to. Humblehood, what's up with you, bro? What are you bro? passionate about? Uh, my name is Sean. I'm 27 years old and I'm passionate about different technology, camera, photography, mm-hmm. Videography and gaming. Okay. Okay. Shout out to him. Okay. So we did get a pop. Humble hood, bro. Come let's on. Head on bro. Back. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. Why did we end up popping our balloon? She asked all the other gentlemen like a question after they had gave her an answer. She didn't ask me one. So just. Humble. Did you ever stop to think that maybe she was just completely satisfied overall with your answer? You're crashing out. I'm going to hear what you got to say, but if it if the rest of this don't make sense, you're crashing out. Head on back. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. Why did we end up popping our balloon? She asked all the other gentlemen like a question after they had gave her an answer. She didn't ask me one. So just reading the room, it ain't seem like she was interested. Okay. All right. So is Daryl someone that is your type? Yeah, you look real good. But that's fair. I should have asked a follow-up question. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) And you were her type. Sometimes, sometimes... If somebody already has in their mind that they like you, they don't need to do the extras to get to know you or like try to like have you answer more and more questions in their mind. She could have already decided that you were the one she wanted to get. James Gourmet Pies. Don't you ever shop. Don't you ever shameless plug that Negro in my my video ever again. I don't give a crap how you feel. (laughs) Don't you ever. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. No, you right. didn't, bro. So, off of those responses we heard and what you've seen so far, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one balloon. No, you didn't. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Big boy. Guys. All right, why did we end up popping his? Oh, mm-hmm. um, I just never really like dated like a rapper or a singer. Like, I don't really know about that life. I don't know if I want to know about that life. <laughs> Honestly, so I know y'all like like to y'all be on the road and be in the studio. I don't know about that. That's definitely understandable. I feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And you did have your balloon unpopped for her. Why so? Um, earlier she says she want a man that's um her best friend, romantic. I think I'm a lover boy. It's part of I put it in my music. Don't say um, that. Don't say that, that hey, no oh, more. Oh, oh. We can't say that word no Thanks more. Thanks to uh, BBL Drizzy, lover boy is it, definitely not yeah. a word. That's that a bad need. word. Yep. After you Google search what a lover boy really is, you really don't want to claim that, my boy. Sorry. But Especially don't put certified in front of it. Her demeanor <laughs> seems she's like a nice girl. They so. not like us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have you ask these guys another question just to help us narrow it down again. Okay, um, what do you value more, honesty or loyalty? Mm. Okay, mm. let's start here. Honesty or loyalty? Honesty. Mm. I value loyalty. I'd say loyalty. I think if you're loyal to somebody, you would be honest to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, think, I thought it was vice versa. Honesty or loyalty, what do you around. value more? No, because you can you can be a hundred percent honest to a person, but not be completely loyal to them. But if you are completely loyal to a person, that doesn't mean you're always going to be honest with them, because your loyalty you're willing to do anything for them, because you, to demonstrate your loyalty, meaning that you could hide something that you know is going to hurt them or put them in a negative light. So I would rather you be loyal to me 
instead of you being honest with me all the time. Because if everything you're doing is for my benefit, I have to understand that there's sometimes there's going to be a necessary good and there's also going to be a necessary evil. But I would also value honesty because I don't want you to go to hell for lying. So it's a it's a double edged sword, really. It just depends on the person. I oh okay, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I I view honesty because with honesty comes with loyalty. That that's how I view it. Yeah, but you can be honest. Like I said, you can be honest with somebody without being loyal to them. You know what I'm saying? Like I could tell you the truth about everything, but that doesn't mean I'm going to demonstrate all the loyalty. Like if you ask me, did you tell John that I cheated on blah 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 blah? Yes, I told her. But that doesn't mean I'm not loyal to you for giving you that answer. Oh. I, I get the... It, they yeah. go hand in hand, though. They do. Yeah. I value loyalty more. Um, I definitely want someone who's always in my corner. Obviously, honesty is important, but um, if I don't have loyalty, like, trust is everything. So that's that's the number one for me. Okay. All right here. Honesty or loyalty? So between honesty and loyalty, I'm going to go with loyalty. Only because everybody lies, you know. But loyalty, that's... You lie? I mean, yeah, I lie. Or someone asks me, are you doing a, have you been a good day? I'd be like, yeah, but really, I'm not having a good day. So shit like that. But like when it comes to loyalty, though, like, nah, I'm big on that. That's with you know, people I'm talking to, my family members, my friends and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what do you value more, honesty or loyalty? Uh, my name is Sean. Um, I would say honesty, because if we're going to be in a relationship, we got to be able to be honest with each other. Um, loyalty is important, too, um, but I I prioritize honesty okay. over loyalty. Cool. They both still important, though. Yes. Yeah, we, we both need that, yeah. Okay, let's head on back. So, before you pop someone, what do you value more, honesty or loyalty? Um, I value honesty more. Okay. Obviously, loyalty is important, but I feel like even if you're being loyal, if you have a history of being dishonest, I'm not even going to believe that you're out being loyal. So, mm. I feel like honesty is key for me. Okay. Above everything else. Got it. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop two of these guys' balloons. So, yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go here. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. You look good, but it's just because you said you'd be lying. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, why'd you end up popping his? Um, He looks good, but it's just because, you know, he said he'd be lying. So. <laughs> I just can't. You want me to lie to you? No. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now, why did we end up popping his? Uh, he just said that he valued loyalty more, and there was no really like reason why. Like he said loyalty too, but he gave kind of like a good explanation. So yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay, yeah. thank you. All right, we've got two balloons left, yes. guys. Ooh. Any questions for her? Okay, let's start over here. So, in a relationship, how do you resolve conflict? Okay. Um, I'm definitely the type of person that needs to take a second and kind of like think about it for a second. I don't like to start arguing right away. Like, I like to take a step back and think about it and then we can come, oh, sorry. <laughs> we can come together and talk about it or if we even need a day, that's cool with me too. But yeah, I just need a second for real. So if we had an argument, are you the type that kind of exercises silent treatment? Not on purpose. I think it's not me ignoring you. I really do just need a second. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be petty or, like, ignore you. I really just need to think about it's it. Process it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Until I got married, I never understood it because my family is very, um, if there's something on my mind or, or our mind, we do go at each other. And we it's like we got to settle it right here, right now. Otherwise, nobody's going to discuss it. So growing up with that mindset I always believe that conflict needs to be settled right then and there. Otherwise, it's going to burn off into other things. But being married to somebody who does do the the quiet, close off thing, it, it made me understand that not everybody is processing things at the speed I'm processing things conversation wise. And so I used to get offended and be mad like, bro, like, why don't you want to talk about it? What's up with you? Like, blah, blah, blah. But then. When she broke it down to me, it's like, it's not that I don't want to talk about it. I was still thinking about it. And so it's like, oh, okay. So, yeah. 
Yeah, because you can push people to say things that they don't mean because you're trying to hurry up and speed up the conversation or speed up the argument. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, some people, some people don't like, some people just genuinely don't like to argue. I don't like to argue. I don't like going back and forth. I feel like it's more of a chore than it is as a, a conversation. So, yeah. Yeah. It just, it just depends on the person. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's go down over here. All right. What's your question? Um, what are, what are three, what are three traits that describe you? Um, I think I'm genuine. I think I'm funny and I think I'm considerate. Mm. Nice. Yes. You good? No more questions. Do you have any kids? No. <laughs> I have a dog. Shout out Dash. That's, that's <laughs> my kid. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, that's all for now. Okay. Man. All right. Thank you. Okay. You know what time it is. We are down to our last two balloons. I'm going to have you pop one of theirs. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. If we were to go on a weekend getaway, where would we go and what would we do? Mm. You know, we always start here. Let's go down there first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can get away. What y'all doing? Um, I would say uh, we could go top golf, something okay. that's more interactive, yeah. so we can um, have fun while we get to know each other a little bit more deeply. Um, yeah, something more interactive like bowling, knee golf, something okay. along lines. Yeah. Okay, like an activity, like yeah, something. right, right. Okay, something fun. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. You gonna top golf for two days? Okay. So I gave you some time to think. Yeah. <laughs> weekend getaway. What you guys doing? Uh, weekend getaway. We do a little uh, road trip. Okay. Go to San Diego. Maybe stay at an Airbnb. I'm pretty simple. I enjoy good weather, good food. You know, maybe go find a nice cocktail bar, uh, find a nice little restaurant, enjoy the views, just kind of hang out. Okay. Cool. Okay. You've heard a lot yeah. now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. Okay. Okay, why do we end up popping his? Um, I'm just more of like Ooh. a fun and interactive person. I just liked his answers better. Um, yeah, the views and the rooftop or whatever you, you said, views and like Airbnb, right? Mm. That's cool. Like, yeah, that's relaxing, bring up these rooftops. Sure. This spell. Yeah. All right. Let me have you come on up here. Is this is this the come short on king? Up, come on up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Are there any final questions between the two of you? Um. Think it too hard. You don't have one. You ain't got one. Okay. <laughs> Nothing on your. I do. Oh, you do. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Do you have kids? No, not at all. Do you smoke? No. Okay, we're good. Okay. Do you drink? Do you drink? Yes. I do too. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're cute. They're cute, bro. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right. So it's gonna be a yes for you for her. Yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a man. I'll go ahead and take this mic. You guys can go on off. How cute. Yeah. All right, Short Kings. The curse has been broken for 24 hours. That's crazy. Because a Short King has successfully claimed a princess before all of the Tall Kings. You guys have a 24-hour boost to all interactions with women. <laughs> Starting from this point, you guys, you guys got immunity for a little bit. <laughs> That's my boy okay, right there, yes sir. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome see? in. I'll have you take that. What's your name? I'm Mariah. Mariah, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for promotions in radio and I do a little bit of stand-up comedy on the side. Okay. All right. And uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I look for a leader. I um, am very single and I'm done <laughs> following or leading myself. I'm ready to follow. Okay. So that's what I'm mostly looking for. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, just somebody who doesn't have a good family. Like, I need you need to talk good about your parents and your baby mom like you, mm -hmm. you can have a baby mom but if you talk bad about her that's a big deal breaker for me mm -hmm. okay all right cool so we did get a couple of <laughs> did i miss something <laughs> so 
She said, I, I'm very single and I'm done trying to lead myself. I'm ready to follow my man. Pop. You need to have a good repertoire with your family. Pop. <laughs> Don't talk trash about your baby mamas. Pop. <laughs> he definitely popped too soon because she he didn't Pop give her list. time to correct herself. Yeah. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up what popping you your balloon. My name is Daryl. I'm 27 and I don't have the best family background. I'm a foster kid. It's Aww. something that I've dealt with. So when she said that, I know that'd be important to some people. They feel like you have to have a good family background in order to build one. But that's something that I aspire to do. So okay. I just felt like maybe it wasn't. Um, that's low-key what I was saying. I just don't want you to talk bad about your family. Like, if you don't have, like, a good family, that's okay. But what you do have, you have to be real, like, with. Like, you have to be, it has to be your people. You know what I mean? Sorry. Yeah, I understand. I'm I'm blessed and appreciative for the family that I do have. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I am very truthful. And okay. I've suffered through some struggles when it comes from the family. So. Okay. Now, apart from her saying, you know, the whole family thing. Is she someone that is your type? Um, she's very beautiful. Honestly, I think we kind of favor. I think like she looks like somebody, she actually kind of looks like my sister a little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> so she is gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, totally. I love you, Dread has some. Oh, they're all out here popping on her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to our next guy here. Oh, so I, I get him on that one. It's unfortunate that he grew up in the foster program. But like she said, family doesn't always have to always mean your blood people. You can make a family with anybody. It's just with these people who you have established as your family, do you have a good repertoire or respect for them? That's all it really is. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel them. Shout out to people who are going through the foster program and stuff like that. I understand life is hard, but don't give up. God has something for you guys. Just please stay prayed up. Try your best no matter what. Doesn't matter if you see somebody with a family, you see somebody with a mom, see somebody with a dad, God will always fill in the lack. Cling to him. Who's your mother and who's your father? Exactly. Jesus said, Who is my mother and who is my father? Who is my brother and my sister? So it doesn't matter anything. Let God fill in the gap. Okay, what your name and age and why we end up popping our balloon? My name's Chi, I'm twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just popped just off of physical attraction, uh, just not like an initial sexual chemistry for me. But she's very pretty. I love her dress. I love the colors. Very vibrant. Thank you. All right. Is he someone that's your type? Yeah, he's handsome. I'm more of an energy person, so if it's not like something that I see like as like right away, I'm mm. not sure, you know. So mm. off of look, sure. Okay. Thank you. And then we did get one down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, my name is Namdi. I'm 28. I mean, it's my bad, 29. Okay. Sorry, my bad. I forgot my age. <laughs> <laughs> and why you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she's cool and, like, real nice. Um, I won't, like, I'll be honest. Like, when you said, like, the leader, and it's not that what you said isn't right. I just feel like, um, you know, like a mutual relationship. No one needs to lead. No one needs to follow. It's just more like let's come together and unite together to find a common solution to whatever it is, whether it's marriage, whether it's families, you know, same passing, whether it's education, whether it's job. Um, I just feel like we're going to come together on that. And like I said, it's not that you, you're wrong. Um, I didn't have How does a body operate with two torsos and no head? Y'all can come. Y'all can come and mutually agree on something. But at the end of the day, somebody has to make the final decision. Somebody has to have the final say. And if she's down, what do you have to do? Take care, lead, and provide. Even when she's up, it's the same thing. What body functions with two chests, two arms, two legs, but no skull? You can't have two head of households. <laughs> Don't make sense. Even even those people who are born with a twin and they're born... Uh, they're born fused together. What are they? I don't want to be disrespectful. They're called. I don't know the term. Yeah, I'm not even somebody knows what I mean. Even those people that are born, it's two people sharing one body, but they both have their own brain and their own. You know, one of them still makes the final decision, and it's not because the other one can't. It's because it just has to work that way. So it's just you can't have a functioning body without a head, and if nobody steps up to be the head of the body, you're just a corpse have anything else you, you're cool 
um, fun size. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I like your, your your drip, you know what I'm saying? Thank but, uh, you. Yeah, that was it. I mean, but yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Namdi, someone that's your type? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, nice smile. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. Okay, let's head on back. So we do still have quite a few unpop balloons. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question. Just kind of help us narrow them down. Okay. Um... I have a degree in communication, so I think I do really good in communicating. Are you also a good communicator? Okay, let's start with your name and age, and do you consider yourself a good communicator? I'm Gerard. I'm 26. Uh, I'd say I'm a good communicator, yeah. I know how to talk through problems and, yeah, pretty much. And listening, you think you're a good listener, too? Yeah, I'm probably more of a listener. Um, I'm more of a quiet, laid-back person, so, yeah. Okay. Your so name and age. Comes with communicating. And what was your question again? Um, if you're, do you think you're a good communicator and or listener? My name is Kingston. I'm 24. Um, communication. I'm not really the best. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I always got a lot going on. Um, just from work, I'm a security manager, so like, I'm on call, so things is always happening. Um, I'm more of a listener than a communicator. Okay, so you're a good listener, but not really. A I'm a commu- great listener. Okay. okay. Your name and age, and how's your communication and listening? I'm Junior. I'm 31, and I think I'm a pretty good communicator. Uh, listen just as well. Try to find the, the middle. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> your name and age, and the answer to her question. Hey, I'm Mark, and I'm 27. And I think I'm a good communicator. There's always room for, for improvement. I'm more of a reserved man, so if you're talking to me about your problems, friends, whether it's romantic or one of my friends, I'm always the one that will just sit there and listen to you. And then um, depending on what type of problem it is, whether you actually want advice, sometimes people just want Why do they do that? Do what? I notice they do that with a lot of um, the heavy set dudes. What? Everybody befriends them just to like trauma dump on them. Because they did that with my best friend. You want to know what it is? It's because... I can only speak from a big person because there's so much stuff that big people go through. Like there's a reason why I had to get like this tenacious type of energy where I was ready. Like if somebody came at me, I was on go mode, always ready to go back at them. But I did notice I did have a lot of people who came to unload their problems off is because I related to a lot of the problems that they had. Plus when you're big, you naturally either are, going to like adapt to a nurturing kind of attitude or you're going to adapt to uh, a jokester type of attitude because you got to make up for some quality because you're not physically attractive. Right. Um, so people did it. And because it was, I can relate to it or people had respect for, you know, being able to carry yourself while being an overweight or heavy set person. So a lot of people just, it's that, that unity. It's like the big teddy bear, the teddy bear concept. If I made sense, if somebody can explain it better than me, no, please. no, you explained it just fine. I just, I just don't agree with it. Oh, what's wrong with it? I don't agree with it because it, it feels like pity. It feels like pity. Don't come up to me trying to trauma dump on me because of the things that you're experiencing when you're only coming to me because you know the stuff that I experienced. But if you didn't, if if you if I didn't look the way that I look, you wouldn't come up to me talking to me. Period. Mm. It's kind of like. That's why I'm asking, like, why do people do that? Typically, I've seen a lot, and it's mostly women that do it, but they'll go and trauma dump on a, on a heavier set dude to get, like, some type of sympathy or approval of how they feel. Mm. Just, like, you, you don't have to, you know, it feels predatory. You don't, Like, you don't have to do that. That's true. I did have a lot more female friends, but I also was raised by all women, so, you know. No, that, I, I get that. Yeah. Just one event and like just be heard. So I think both both sides I'm pretty good. Okay. 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 All right. Your name and age and answer to your question. I'm Red. I'm 30 years old and I'm an excellent communicator. I talk all the time. I might talk your ears off, but you gonna like when I talk. You know. Okay. So it's like you know, I'm just that type of person. Like you said, mm-hmm. with the energy, my energy always like this. So you know, I'm just uh, when it comes to talking, we, we gonna talk. And what about listening? Oh, I'm listening too. You know, okay. we, I'm a, my ears is open. You feel okay. me? So I was like, yeah, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm that type of guy, you know, so. All right. Okay. okay. You know? okay. His energy is contagious. Mm-hmm. His energy is very contagious. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you, thank you. All right. So based off of those responses we heard, I'm going to have you pop two balloons. So I'm going to hand you over a toothpick. Okay. There you go. And we'll pop those two. They don't look like he's scheming. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then one more. I do not know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. All right. And then okay. right over here, why do we end up popping his? Um, he just said he wasn't a good communicator. That's mm -hmm. just, it's not, that's not for me. I'm very good at it, and I need yeah. somebody who can do it too. Okay. All right. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, She's pretty. You know, she has a great body, so I was trying to see more from her. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> and now is Kingston someone that is your type? Yeah, he's handsome, like mad handsome, you just good? not a good communicator. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then why did we end up popping his? It was really hard. I really, I don't have a good reason. Like, <laughs> there's just so many handsome men, and some of the answers were just a little bit better, I guess. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're so good. And why did you have your balloon on top? I love comedy. I watch it on TV. I go to comedy shows. I, if you had a show, I would go. But uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I still give you my comedy stuff. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have three balloons left unpopped. Let me go ahead and have you ask these guys another question. Okay, um, well, it's not like super important to me, but I do do a lot of things at myself at home. I know how to change a tire. Do you know how to change a tire? Mm -hmm. No, I'll just pay somebody to. Okay, money talks, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we got two more. All right, do you know how to change a tire? <laughs> Word. <laughs> yeah, I know how to change a tire. I think I changed a tire like half drunk in the rain one time. So, so yeah, I think I, I could change a tire. Yeah. Okay. Sir, <laughs> you just incriminated you just, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. You were half drunk driving in the rain, big dog? And you changed the tire? We be That's sick. impressive. That's, That's impressive, dangerous. but you snitched to yourself. Stop driving while drinking. Stop it. If you drunk, stay your tail at home. If you can't handle your liquor, don't go nowhere, man. Gosh, dang. But, yeah, men, you should know how to change your tire. You should know how to check your oil. You should know how to pump air in your tire. And if you don't know how, there's a there's, there's YouTube there's people videos on YouTube that teach you how to do those things. There, there there's basic skills that we need to have as men. You need to know how to cut grass. You need to know how to use a hammer. You need to learn how to turn your water off and you need to learn how to properly fix your car to at not even not saying be a mechanic, but the ba the basic needs of your car. You should know how to handle because if your wife is driving and her tire pop and she call you and say, babe, I'm stranded here. My tire pop. You need to be able to get over there and handle that situation. I understand calling people and spending money, but some of these AAA people don't be always ready. Yeah. It happened to us. We popped a tire, called AAA. They didn't come for us. We had to do some stuff ourselves. Y'all be relying on other people. Learn these skills for yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay. All for right. Sure. Let's go down to over here. All right, Red. You know, gotta you know how to change a tire? I definitely know how to change a tire. I'm a mechanic, electrical technician, all that, you know. So when it comes to change a tire, I'll do more to change a tire. You know what I'm saying? I'll fix the whole car. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Talk your talk. <laughs> you feel me? So, I'm just trying to heard, know. got it. <laughs> his He's energy, hurting. his, huh? All He's right. Funny. His I'm energy is contagious. I'm going to have you pop one balloon based off of what you've heard. He don't know how she's going to tire. He, she going to pop. Dang. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Money talks. All right. So, why do we end up popping him? Money talks. Money talks. What does that mean, ma'am? Look at, look at, look at, look at Daryl. Look at Humble Hood. Money talks. Look at, look at. He going to pop. He gonna pop because she go. He yeah, gonna, trying to that's, get money. Cause that sound like gold digger tendencies. Yeah. You just ask these men, can you change a tire? One dude said, Nah, I pay people to do that. The other two dudes said, Yeah, I know how to do it. And your response is, Money talks. What? Ooh, that's nasty. Well, it was just hard again. There's all these handsome men. The answers were good. Your answer was good, but there was just better answers, I guess. I feel that. I'm sorry. All right. No worries. Money talks? <laughs> okay, the two guys left. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? 
Uh, yeah, I have a question. So uh, you talked about communication a lot. So um, how do you like to communicate? Do you text a lot or? Like so that's a good question. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not a good texter. I let my phone die a lot. Um, so I am a phone caller. And um, so if you call me, I'll answer on my MacBook usually because I'm playing video games. But yeah, I let that phone die a lot. So you can play games on a, a Mac? Texter. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They came up. Yep. Okay. okay, let's go down over here. All right, any questions over here? So you said you like video games? I love video games. I'm a big games. gamer. Yeah. Been, I was raised on games, you know what I'm saying? I play every game there is, you know, big gamer. I'm okay. about to start streaming and everything, you know, so Fire. we can stream together. Okay. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. They, they, okay. They, was that a question? I don't know what that was, but they just need to leave They together. need to let, yeah, let them leave together. Get them off last camera. Round, right? Yeah, get them off. Whose balloon are we popping? What? You are not? <laughs> okay, let's go. Hold on. This bothered me a little bit. So you said you're big on communicating, but you were not a good texter or any that part no. of communicating? Yeah. So I don't text. I think texting is kind of dry. Like, you can't really have a conversation with it. Mm -hmm. A lot of communication is actually through, like, inflection of voice and, like, actually, like, listening and not waiting 15 minutes, two days to answer a text. So okay. I That contradicts more... everything you said because you say your phone dies. And you let your... Sir, you're already out. What the freak going on here? Sir, you're out. She's on her Mac. She can still answer her Mac. It doesn't matter if it's a contradiction to you. You're not an option no more. It doesn't matter. You're out. Next. You've been out for like 20 minutes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, what? You over here trying to arch you and you're not even in the race no more. <laughs> Stay on the sideline, gang. You're out. <laughs> your phone all the time. Yeah, so, but I, pl I have a MacBook. So I'd be answering, like, I'll answer a phone call because it'll, like, go through my video games and I'll see it and I'll answer it. <laughs> so. Go. Mm -hmm. You trying to get you. What the freak was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the freak was that? That was next level hating. How you hating from the sidelines? How you hating from outside the club? You can't even get in. <laughs> Brother, you, pay, you came in here. Objection! <laughs> it's like this is not even your court case. Hey, I need to interject. <laughs> I need to interject. Boys, sit on the sideline. Shout out, Eric. You're not even in it no more. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop one of their balloons. I'm sorry. Come on. Uh, <laughs> All okay. right. So why do we end up popping in? Just because that's my match over there. <laughs> okay. You know what? We ain't gonna waste no time. Come on up, Fred. Come on up. Evil, <laughs> evil twin. Evil twin. Evil twin. Evil twin. Evil twin. Evil twin. Evil twin, evil twin. Okay. They was they was already perfect, bro. It don't even matter. Watch this. <laughs> All right. I'm clearly I'm feeling the vibes, but any final questions? Um, Steph Curry, Aisha Curry. Not at all. I ain't got no questions. All my oh. questions. <laughs> okay, so is it gonna be a yes for you for her? It's a yes. Oh, is it a yes for you for, yes. for him? We got a match. I'll take this, and you guys can go on off. Right. <laughs> she said, "That's my match right Woo! there." Evil twin, evil twin, man. That is funny. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, dang. We got about, what's that, 30 minutes left? Okay, it might, it might end up being four. It, yeah, it like, could be four. We two. We two. We got two people. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? My oh, name I want to buy you one of those. Those what? uh, That jacket. She's, what is that? That coat? I thought it was just like a cardigan, a sweater. Yeah, I, I always wanted to buy you one of those. But they don't have very good ones out here. Plus, it's always hot. I feel like you <laughs> you burn up like a fire out here. Just know, I want I want to buy those. I want I want to get you one. I think the, I think you look cool in those. Cause I remember when we dated, I think you had one at one point. Oh, a cardigan. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, when it, the black one. Are you talking yeah, about the black one? yeah, yeah. I, I like we use rocking that. I'm gonna buy you some. I'm gonna buy you like five colors. Is that fine? Alara, Alara, how okay. old are you? I'm I like 24. those. Okay, and what? Hers is fuzzy though. I, then I'll be somewhere itchy. I know y'all like what the freak you talking about. It's cause when I saw the cardigan, I got nostalgia from when we first started dating. Like our first little. First couple of years when we were in college, because she used to rock cardigans with her little afro puff. Ooh, she used to look so cute. I swear, bro. I swear she did, bro. I think you wore it in high school too. You had like a uh, you had a cardigan because whenever you wore a crop top, you always had your shoulders and stuff covered. Yeah, I had a. Uh, it was like a red, white, and blue cardigan. Yeah. yeah. Somebody link me a store where I can buy a whole bunch of these because I want to get her some. I'm gonna spoil my wife. You I do. You, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy you some cardigans. Agent. 
I got this soldier, bro. And now, what are some things you look for? In a I'm man? going weird. Like, I just, um, just so okay. things yeah. first. He has to have a relationship with God. Period. Point blank. Mm-hmm. Um, a traveler. Somebody, somebody link me them cardigans. I'm serious. Link I love me. to do water excursions. I love the ocean. Okay. Um, <laughs> just. Sn- oh, justice. I'll- <laughs> Cause I was in a dopamine rush and he just threw my whole energy right back off, bro. It's it's all it's, it's always somebody, man. <laughs> uh oh. It's okay. Uh oh. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and yeah, really, just a good person at heart. I hope you know what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. I think but, I'm skeptical. You know, is the way it's probably a good person. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers. Someone who does not have a vision, does not know where they're going in life. Mm. I can't follow a man who does not know where he's going. Okay. Um, I've been with someone with kids, so I can't say that's a deal breaker, mm. but I would like to start my family on my own, mm. but I would still embrace someone else's child, you know, if I love them enough. Okay. Um, if you love them enough. Oh, I, oh I, okay, I, I get don't it. I don't really it. know. Yeah. Cleanliness, hygiene, gotta be on point. Mm. And yeah, just someone who's just like not afraid to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, go out the country and just have fun together. You know, yeah. and experience things. And also someone who's willing to give back. You know, not stingy. Okay. okay so we did get two pop <laughs> balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Funny. That's okay. Balloon. If we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Chi. I'm 28. Um, I am aquatically challenged. Okay. So that's okay. Huh? You kind of cancel me out with that swim. one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, you know, they could always He's learn. Though, right? We could teach each other. I, I mean, appreciate you. Sorry, right, brother. I feel you. Yeah. All right. So, you know, apart from her. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all now, bro. Go get you one of them kiddie pools from Walmart, the four footer. It's only going to cost you a hundred bucks. There's no excuse in this day and age. Anything can happen. We can, they say California can flood in the next 10 years. There is no excuse for not knowing how to swim. Go get you one of them four dollar, four dollar uh kitty pools, bruh. Get you some goggles and get you some arm floaties. Uh, throw your pride away. Hang on to the edge of the pool. Practice kicking your feet. Put the floaties on your arms. Lay on your back. Then practice laying on your back without the floaties. Your body will float. You're human. You you will float. There is no excuse for not knowing how to swim. If you got a fear of water, that's a different thing. That's an excuse. Yeah, that's an excuse. That's probably his excuse. I don't know, but if you if you just haven't tried to learn how to swim, that's that's what I'm talking about. If you have an actual phobia of water, that's a different thing. Talk yeah, to a, a psychiatrist about that. Yeah, that's crazy. Saying that is she- isn't that who you talk to? A psychiatrist? Yeah, but uh, can't psychiatrists help you get over phobias? Yes. Am I, do I got the wrong profession? No, you no, you don't have the wrong profession. I just think I, I can understand why people. I'm somebody that is not comfortable swimming. But you know how to swim, though. I, I know how to swim just a little bit. But if you throw me in eight feet, oh yeah, you're done. I'm done. But just, five, six, I, I'm five eight. I can stand in there. That's nothing. But I, yeah, but so it's just like yeah. But I do, I do think. Uh, People, especially black people, because there is a stigma that black people are fe- fearful of water and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they do. We do need to learn how to swim. It's, if you have children, start your kids out early, yeah. as early as possible. I do agree with that. Yep. She's someone that is your type. Yeah, she's pretty. I like her swag. It's different. Yeah. I like the coat a lot. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. So I know he can't swim, but is he your type? He's good looking. He's someone I could definitely get to know. Mm-hmm. And then we'd have to do some swimming lessons. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Kingston. I'm 24. I love the outfit. Thank you. Um, I just, I'm a big dude. I can't, I can't float. I can't swim. That's, that's cap. That's a lie. That's a lie. Bigger dudes, actually, we do float. We do float in water. Let's just, they, let's just say they don't know how to properly swim. Yeah, you don't know you how to swim. Get in, you could get in a pool and stand in a pool and sit in water. You're technically swimming because you're in a pool. But, you know, I can't yeah. get it. That's why I said. Lay on your back. Spread your arms and your feet out. Spread it wide. You will float. Water will Amen. carry you. What is, this is crazy. Muscle for a I can. I try, but, you know, I'm a big dude. So, yeah. That's okay. So you got me with that one. Sorry. But you're pretty, though. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, is Kingston someone that you're tired? Yeah, he's a big boy. I like that. 
<laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these remaining guys a question. Help us narrow it down a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about marriage? Is that something that you see in the future or something that's like, mm, absolutely not? Mm, okay, let's start. Your name and age, how do you feel about marriage? I'm Gerard, I'm 26. Yeah, I definitely want to get married one day. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not in a rush to get married, right. but yeah, I definitely Respectful. want to get married, have my own family, yep. build a legacy. Okay, yep. thank you. Yep. Let's go on over here. Yeah. Your name and age and how do you feel about marriage? My name is Daryl, I'm 27. Um, I love the idea of getting on one knee and like proposing to a woman. Um, I like to court women. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure about the financial, the, uh, like the, the financial agreement that comes with marriage. So like going to the courthouse and doing something for the uh, government isn't exactly like in my best interest. But I, I, I do want to give the woman that I consider that I love is everything that I could possibly give her. And I know that that's something that women like. So Amen. I hope yeah. to get on one knee one day. Okay, I like that. All right. <sighs> Your name and age and how do you feel about marriage? Uh, I'm Junior and I'm 31. And yeah, marriage is important to me. I, I come from a family. My parents have been married for like 40 plus years. And so, uh, yeah, super important. Good, good. Okay. Name and age, how do you feel about marriage? Hi, I'm Mark and I'm 27. And marriage is definitely the end goal for me. I would love to have a family of my own one day and lead them and guide the next generation, so. Okay, thank you. Okay. Name and age and how do you feel about marriage? Yeah, my name is Namdi, I'm 29, and yeah, 100%, like, uh, I'm African, so if you know anything about, like, African people, uh, <laughs> but dead ass, though, like, it's, mm -hmm. like, super serious, like, very traditional, but it's not, like, uh, conservative type of thing. It's just that I really always plan on getting married, yeah. you know what I'm saying, seeing my beautiful mm -hmm. wife, you know, reading the vows, doing the one year anniversary, you know, honeymoon and everything. And also like fostering a family. And that's what I want to do and like the end goal. But uh, yeah, 100%. Um, it's kind of sad with marriage culture right now, though, yeah. unfortunately. Disappointing. But, yeah, but uh, yeah, 100% sure. marriage. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all. <clears throat> so I am going to have you pop two balloons based off of those responses you've heard so far. Let's let me go ahead and give you a pig. So here's that. Okay. And just go ahead and pop those two. Hey. Daryl already got his balloon out. Okay. All right. So why did we oh. end up popping his? I just end up popping yours because I, our styles just kind of don't go together. Okay. And I mean, 31's not scary, sort of say, but yeah. it's also like, I'm only 24. So, oh. I mean, I want to get married, but I ain't in no rush and like, 34, 31, you probably not in a rush either. Getting up there a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, it's more mostly just like I don't 30s is old. Really gotcha. But okay. thank you. I 30s is not old, but um, I feel like the gap between 20 and 30 is there. I feel like it exists. No, I understand that. I understand the gap. Yeah. I'm just asking in general, when because to hear a 20 year old say a 30 year old is old. Yeah, that, that's crazy. That's, uh, yeah, that's off. But I mean, it's just perspective. Yeah. I do You're love still your beautiful. Style. Your thank you. Is, your jacket is hard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. thank you. And why did we end up popping his? Um, I just I'm not getting you a fluffy one alone because um, no I'm just not ones. physically attracted just to messy. you. So if you give me I a fluffy you know, one, make sure I got a. Uh, no, I'm just playing. I ain't gonna say it. Peter gonna come get me. Oh, you want to, you I want, want a fur. -er. Give, a fur -er. me a, give me a fur, -er a fur -er skin coat. Oh, physical attraction is huge. <laughs> it's definitely huge for me. Like I have to be physically attracted. I'm just not physically attracted. But mm -hmm. I think you're an awesome guy, and I think that you have a good head on your shoulders when it comes to marriage. So I do appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. I definitely mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. And so, why did you have your balloon and pop for her? Um, she seemed nice. Uh, she was attractive, and I could swim. So. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. All right. So we do have. Hey, big boys. Unfortunate. It happens. But hey, man, come on. Let's get in the gym. We've been going to the gym. You ain't seeing my improvements yet, but I've been going. I've been getting my weight up. You know, actually trying to get my weight down. But hey, big boys, let's go. The gym. The gym is not the hard part. It's actually getting up to go to it. That's what I say. Yeah. Three balloons left unpopped. 
Go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. Um, what do you guys do for a living? Uh, I do cyber work for the government. Uh, I own a personal training company, and yeah. So you spend a lot of time in the gym? A lot, yeah. Okay. Six days a week. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to be like you, big bro. I'm an artist, content creator, singer, songwriter, rapper, YouTuber. Okay. okay. Creator. Yeah. Right. Do you have one that you prefer over the others? Um, I mean, music is kind of like my baby because it was always therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. The I actually recently lost one of my best friends, I'm and he introduced to me to the music. Yeah. So it's always been a healing thing for me. Okay. Hey, rest in peace, man. Hey, shout out to everybody. I hope everybody who's lost somebody in the last week, month, year, 10 years, it doesn't matter. If you lost somebody very important to you, please take the time to properly mourn, grieve, get it out your system. Don't hold it in because that's the worst thing you can do because it's going to come out later. And I hope you find God or whatever you believe in. It gives you the comfort that, you know, can get you through it. But you do not bottle it up. Right, right to your loved ones. A lot of people think it's weird, but even though they're not here, write to them as if they are. Yeah. Okay, okay. And do you rap, sing? A little bit of both. Okay. I, I, I just like to make whatever I enjoy doing at the time. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. And we got our last guy down here. All right, what do you do? Oh, yeah, uh, my name, uh, you want to say my same name? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Namdi, uh, 29, and I do finance for a healthcare company. Um, pretty much, we help uh, senior citizens and veterans with the Medicare prescription drug plans. Um, it's a lot of data entry, account uh, management, and uh, finance. I mean, I've, I went to school for that, and I, I like numbers and stuff. Um, okay. but that's my nine to five. But I do, like, hobby wise, um, I do, like, contract work for the sports drink company called Ready. Shout out to Ready. But, uh, <laughs> It's a it's a great company. Shameless plug. It's owned by Aaron Donald and Giannis, uh, two NFL NBA players, and they do a lot of like uh, sports tourneys, demos, uh, marathons, and it's super fun. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I don't know what I just that like was. That. Like if I could do that twenty four seven, I'll do that, but it just doesn't pay enough. Yeah. Victory yeah. But I, I really like doing that. But um, yeah, I like my job and uh, yeah. Okay. I like data entry and numbers. So I used to be an accounting assistant. So Why like is Tara looking like uh, that? Major, my bad. I don't no, know. you're good. Go ahead. What did you uh, major in? I'm actually a college dropout, but I did marketing and advertisement. And while I was in college, I was an accounting assistant for um, a small construction company, but they did like manufacture buildings. So like the bikini beans and stuff like Word. that. Yeah, I was <laughs> nice. running the office, helping out with that. Nice. So it was really fun. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. It seems. Yeah, like yeah numbers. <laughs> numbers, that's good. Okay, numbers, people. Yeah, finances. Let's talk about it. I All wish I would have right. paid more attention. So I'm in gonna high have you ha uh, go ahead and pop one balloon. You said what? I said I wish I would have paid more attention in high school with math. Like I'm good. I'm good at math, but I, I knowing my potential as an adult and how I handle numbers now, I'm like, bro, you really could have did something if you would have just paid more attention in your classes. Math has always been my worst enemy. I always fell asleep. That was my only thing. Math, math, math has always been like intimidating to me for some reason. I think numbers just scare you. Numbers overwhelm you. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Uh, I love an artist because I love acting and everything, but I'm just yeah, yeah. So, so it's the artist thing for you. It's just uh, there's just so many like rappers, singers, entertainers. And I just like a more stable lifestyle, okay. you know? So that's okay. just why. That's but nice. you're beautiful. You're Thank a beautiful you. person. I love that you're a creator. Thank you. If I was more invested in my creativity, then maybe, but I'm, I'm really not. Good. And Daryl, you did have your balloon unpop for her. Why so? Yeah, she's a beautiful woman. I like uh, some of the things that she said. Mm -hmm. And I, I totally understand. Stability is extremely yeah. important for women. It's a reason why I been having a few struggles, you feel me? I, it, it's hard to get somebody to s believe or see in the dream that you have. So understand, yeah. and it's a million people like me, but to see that yourself as someone different is, yeah. is special. So yeah. I, I totally respect it and I understand. I'm sure if I heard some of your music and stuff like that, I could see you should you're listen special. Sometimes. You know you what I'm listen. saying? You should listen. But just based off of first impressions. Like, understand. Yeah. Understand. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys, any questions for our girl here? Okay, he has one down there. Okay, okay what's your question? Hey, uh, my question is like, um, not trying to get like too, too like deep in that stuff because I don't even follow like politics, but 
like the world's kind of like crazy mm -hmm. like right now with like war and like they just had like trump and biden go back yeah. and forth and then you know uh kenya i don't know if y'all seen what happened yeah, kenya. yeah Congo, Congo, yeah mm -hmm. i mean what's your just like take on like world like it, this is not this has the nothing to do to do that this has nothing to do with romance uh, if if you can't date somebody because their political opinions don't align with you, then that's just weird in itself. Your politics, politics and your love life should stay far from each other. I don't even bring politics up with my family because it's just it's not that we're going to conflict. Politics has no place. In 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 showing love and communication with your loved ones. Man, I, I can't. Bro, politics is just nasty, man. Economics and, like, what's going on right now. It don't have to be deep. It just, yeah. just whatever is on your mind. So I don't really know too much about politics because I feel like the Electoral College does everything for us. Yeah. But I also want to be a world leader. I think what's going on in Congo and Palestine, like, we have more than enough resources yeah. to help out. And that's why it's so important for me to have a man with a vision sure. because I have a vision and I want to be a world leader. And not world leader, world changer. That's the world. That's the word. World changer. Yeah, world leader like, you know, I want to make an impact. I yeah. want to help out with other countries that need the help. So sure. he has to be on the same kind of because that's going to take a lot, yeah. you know, and it takes a lot of resources. So what would you say, like, um, like things you would do to work your way to that, like world changing type? Or like, do you have any connections like, I, I, with the right people? Yeah, and sure. then also finding the connections down there. Obviously, you can't go the first visit yeah. to the country trying to change things, but right making sure you make the right connections so you can get to that country, be safe, make the connections that you need to make while you're in that country so that you can make changes like building wells so we can have fresh water for people. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Actually making sure that the, the donations are actually getting down there. Yep. Yeah. The right. money is actually getting down there. I'm not right. going to just be ex expecting a third party to get money down there. Yeah. I want to be right. hands on. Sure. Right. So I need a team. Okay. So I would want a man who's willing and ready to make some sacrifices for other people's good. Yep. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. That's good. Hey, shout out to her. Okay, let's head on down here. Any questions? Uh, yeah, just to respond to what you just said. So I don't think I'm the. I, I didn't pop because I wanted to ask you first. Mm -hmm. So I'm more focused on my vision. Um, I do like to give back, but like volunteering. But yeah, on a worldwide scale, I don't see myself doing that yeah. long term. Yeah, I have like my own business and blog and stuff. So. Yeah, I don't know if that's something you... You don't think your business could donate and give back? I mean, yeah, but um, it seems like you're trying to yeah. go to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I respect like it. More Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely so, humanitarian, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so. you, yeah you can go ahead. You can pop it yourself, man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So you want to pop it? No. <laughs> pop your own balloon. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with either side of that. Yeah. Some people want to change the world in a vast scale. Some people will change the world in their small impacts and the way they do it. Yeah. Nothing wrong. No shame. No shame in that. All right, cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you for being honest. I no appreciate problem. it. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and bring our guy on up here. Yeah, we're going to wait for him here. <laughs> let's go. Come on up. Come on yeah. up. <laughs> All right, any final questions between the two of you? Yeah, totally. Uh, Got to ask. Any kids? Or... Nope. No kids. I shoot. Uh, you have kids? No, nah, no kids. So, like, get that ring on that finger. Ain't nothing coming out of me. Okay. Sorry about it. Do you want kids? Oh, of course. How many? Honestly, I want a soccer team. I have good genes, so I want to see as many different, you know, different genetic pools of us together. You know what I'm saying? Me and my husband. I want to see how much, you know, one come out with red hair. Who grandma got red hair? You know what I'm saying? We trying to figure that out. But yeah, I want a soccer team. Like, I want to leave a legacy so my kids will, they will be well off for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I did have something, man. I was listening. Um, I guess uh, I'm not local. Are you local? Oh, yeah, I'm local. Do you have an issue with... Where are you? I live in Baltimore, Maryland. How long is that flight? Uh, if you take a straight shot with Southwest, it's like four, four hours and f well, four I'm, hours. I'm not opposed. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Um, long distances. Okay. I'm, I'm, communication, your communication just has to be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to... Play second fiddle to no one. No, I wouldn't. If you I can't communicate yeah. and I just feel like the energy's not there, I'm just going to chuck my deuces up, honestly. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really yeah. it. That's okay. It. All right. So, my final question is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yeah. 
Okay. Is it a yes for you for him? Yeah, I'll take him. I can go on a date with him. Okay, okay. Song. Yeah, we got a match. Okay. <laughs> Is that three? Take this mic. Did you guys can go on? Yeah, that's three. That's three. Arlette, you can do it. I said four, right? Arlette, you can do it. You can break your record. Let's go for four. She's broken it before. <laughs> oh, what's her record? Five? Four. But her oh, average is three. Good. That's why I always go with three. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead come and on, bring out Come our on. Come on. Let's do it, man. One more. One more. Let's go. Hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name. What is that? My name. My name? Yeah, my name. How old are you? I'm 25. 25. Okay. What do you do? I like all timers and dementia patients set up like their end of life service. Oh. Okay. Oh. Girl, you oh. got the hardest job. Wow. She has the hardest job. Oh. Oh. My heart goes for her. Oh. Dang. <laughs> I hope you find love. And what are some things you look for in a man? Um. I just guess like a protector, that's about it. Okay, got it. All right, and now what What are some of your deal breakers? Um, I just don't like narcissists, that's it. Okay, that's all. got it. Yeah. What are some things you like to do for fun, I guess? Mm -hmm. Thus, make music, travel. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Aww, yeah. All right, so we have not gotten any pop balloons yet. Somebody so please scoop her up, man. So what I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over that to you. That just made me sad, bro. So let me hand you. Yeah, that's a hard job to have. Pick. So I for the first it. round, Emotion, I am going to have cool. you pop two balloons. Um, just kind of based off what you're seeing so far, who doesn't really fall into your type, outfit, height, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll ask you why you ended up popping theirs. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, and then one more. Um. Oh, God. No, <laughs> not my big, big homie. <laughs> All right, let's start with this one over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Junior and I'm 31. Okay, and Junior, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, she seems like she's uh, really artsy, like creative, uh, and that's something that's like really appealing to me. Mm. Okay, nice. And now, why do we end up popping juniors? Um, I really don't know. I just had to choose. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Sorry. he is someone that's your type. Yeah, he's cool. Okay, cool. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Mark, and I'm 27. Okay. And Mark, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, she's a uh, she makes music like me, and she seems cool and she looks good. Mm, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and now, why did we end up popping marks? It's the same reason. I just kind of had to, so nice. I just went. Okay. For <laughs> sure, so, I feel it. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Let's head on back. So we do have four Our balloons left cute. popped. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Ooh, okay. Um, what do you? Like ask all of these. Yeah, it's gonna be questions. for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like in a woman? Okay. Yeah. That's a good question. Let's we'll start right over here. Your name and age and what do you like in a woman? I'm Gerard, I'm twenty six, so I like women that are that have a clear vision for what they want out of life. Uh that can be career or family. Um also women that are um not selfish, so they uh they have empathy for others. And, well, she um, got a lot of that. Yeah, good cooks. And that's, <laughs> that's about it. Okay. So like that. Oh, she's pretty. Let's go to our next guy, your name and age, and what do you I'm like? Glad she took that bang out of her Darryl. face. I'm 27. Um, I like kindness, uh, a sense of grace. Um, not uh, like uh, like funny, but not too friendly. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and what do you like in a woman? My name is Chi. I'm 28. Um, I like women who are intelligent, who are funny. Um, I'm really big on conversation, you know, so someone who can hold a good conversation. And uh, also, you know, I like women who don't take themselves too seriously. That's what he looks so I like, like people who are down to earth. Oh boy, with crochet beanie. He looked like the baby. <laughs> I was like, what is he? He looked like something. Let's go. What do you like now? What are you doing? My name is King. So I'm really big on hygiene. Mm. Um, so you got you got to have a good hygiene. Um, you have to have a good personality too. 
you gotta be somewhat funny. You know, I can't. I don't. I don't want to feel like I'm talking to like a dead horse all the time. You know what I'm saying? I gotta start a conversation all the time and stuff like that. Dead so, horse. Yeah. Dead horse. What the horse do? Right. But he did. That's not the baby. That's our baby. <laughs> okay. It's, oh. What the freak? All right, let's go over here. Why did what did she do? Uh, nothing too specific. I just normally go for someone with a little bit more bubbly personality. Okay. And I mean, we barely know she each other, but just from first impressions, um, kind of seem like very zen and mm. chill, which is fine, but just not normally what I go for. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they do say opposites attract. So I guess he needs somebody to be the opposite of what he is, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Okay. So are you usually more chill, like he said, or are you bubbly? It depends on the day. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that. Okay. Now, is he someone that is your type? Like, if you were to approach you, is that He's someone cool. you'd go for? He's cool. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So we do have three balloons left unpopped. Let me go ahead and have you ask these guys another question. Okay. So the mic up. Oh, okay. Um, are any of you guys, well, do you believe in God? Okay. Do you believe in God? Do you want to add more to that or just like... I don't know. I like God fearing men. So okay. That's. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Grew up going to church every Sunday. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm a man. I'm a member of Greater All Nations Church of Greater All Nations Tabernacle Church of God in Christ. Dang, yes, why is the name it's so long? Hey, that's Kojic. Kojic. We church. We well. I was raised Church of God in Christ as well. So. I was raised Baptist. Double Rock Baptist Church. Shout Double out. Rock they no Baptist. longer there. Because the pastor ran off with the money and went to Jamaica. Dang. God is good. Dang. All the time. Dang. All the time. Dang. All the time. Dang. All the time. Those y'all from y'all know. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> All right. And same thing over here. Let's um, go. I don't really go to church, but uh, I'm a pantheist, and I do believe in God. I believe everything. Like, what is that? I believe God is the universe. I believe everything's connected. A pantheist. Boy, Sorry, y'all. Oh here we go. Pantheist. Theism. A doctrine which identifies God with the universe or regards to the universe as a manifestation of God, worships or admits or tolerates all gods. Mm. I will admit that God runs the universe, and I believe that the universe is, a, in fact, a manifestation of God, but I don't believe that there are more than one God. I feel like those... Those other gods that people worship, and this is just my opinion, are uh, fallen angels or, in fact, uh, manifestations of sin. I don't believe that there are other gods. Like Zeus, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, all those, those were actually demons in the Bible. Um, it is so, and they were mentioned in the Bible just like Medusa was mentioned in the Bible. So, yeah. Uh. Like they, I believe in well, to clarify, because I don't know if there's going to be somebody, oh, well, technically she was only in the book of Enoch or, okay, I get it. King James also released a book called uh, Demonology, where they go over the different types of demons and how they function and where they come from. So the King James version of the Bible that we currently read now also has a book called Demonology. No, it is not a satanic book. It is just him going over the types of demons and how they operate and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. And karma and stuff like that, but yeah. Okay. Actually, before we continue, because you guys know I don't, I don't say stuff. King James demonology. There you guys go. So just so you guys know, I don't ever say something without backing it up. There you no, guys go. Context and stuff. Yeah. Read that at your own discretion. If you're curious about learning how these spirits and different things work, personally, I. I don't care for demons. I don't really care for how they operate. All I know is I rebuke them in the name of Yeshua Messiah, and that's how I go. The Bible tells you how they operate. It's <laughs> yeah. by the fruits that they bear. Okay, so that's, that's okay. Enough. Time to... Ooh! Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go over here. Come what? on. Why do you end up popping our balloon? Um, There's a tattoo of a male on her leg, and oh. I, I just keep looking at it's it. It's too fucking biggie. Uh, I just kept looking <laughs> at it, I'm, and I couldn't tell what it was, so it made me think, like, I don't know. I Okay. Wait, what's that? Where did you see this it? Side. Oh, <laughs> down there. Yeah. Okay, you said it's Tupac and Biggie? Yeah. It was just... I'm pretty tatted. <laughs> no, the tattoos is fine. And then you said <laughs> Lauren Hill's up here? Yeah. Sheesh. Humble. <laughs> I see Tupac. Where's Biggie? Yeah, I got Lauren Hill right here, too. Right here. Where's down Biggie? Here. Right here on the side. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so just her tattoos, that's the only reason why you ended up hospitalized? Yeah, I, um, it just kind of, I don't know, it just it, it just caught my attention. Mm -hmm. I, um, it was noticeable and it caught my attention. It, okay. You could have asked her what her tattoos so is were. Is Daryl someone that is your type? It's cool. It's cool. Okay, thank you. Let's go on to our next guy that ended up popping. Why, Why did you end you up popping your balloon? Humble, you, f you, this is the set. Like, there's two times in this video so far you've made a decision that I listened to the reasoning of your decision. I'm like, bro, what? I, 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 I'm trying to give you grace, bro. I really am, but come on, bro. You could have asked her about the tattoos. Let's do better, bro. She gives a lot of one word answers. Like, you don't really go back and forth. I feel like if we was alone and we was talking, you'd be like, yeah, cool. No. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Like, Sorry. Yeah. So that's the turn off. Okay. You pretty though. Thank you. Okay. Is it isn't it isn't it kind of hypocritical for you to call her out on this, but then you just tried to shame old girl um about communication, literally like via phone. Via phone and all that. And then when she asked you, do you communicate properly? You gave this whole thing about how you because you have to lead a team and all that, you're the type that you just sit silent and communication is not your strong suit, but then you just came at her because she gives one word responses, even though you can clearly tell she's nervous. Yeah, that, that part is, you can clearly tell she's nervous, but it's the, I guess it's, um, if you're a bad communicator and I'm a one word response, we really ain't gonna be having no Yeah, I just, I just feel like, I feel like, if you're mad about somebody's one word responses, that's a form of communication. Yeah. And so if that strong suit in communication is a turn off to you, but then you also are somebody who you admit it to yourself, you suck at communication. You just listen. To me, you're Ooh, I think you're fraud. frauding. I just think you're frauding. It's my it's my opinion. I'm not saying what you are. It's just that's how I see it. You might be frauding, bro. That's a good thing I wore today. Is that how you usually are? No, or? But it's just, this is new for me. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're not even giving her the nervousness. You're frauding, bro. Answer. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Okay, let's head on back. All right, you're our final guy. Any questions for her? Yes. Uh, how old are you again? I'm 25. What do you do for a living? I'm a memory, memory care coordinator. Okay. Uh, what are your hobbies? Making music. I'm in nursing school as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have many hobbies i'm just focused on that right now but making music is my hobby okay. uh what do you look for in a man um like i said a protector uh not so much a provider because i can pretty much do that on my own but mm. i feel like um, it, a relationship is a two-way street so mm. um same thing that you can do for me i should be able to do for you um yeah so i don't really have expectations on who anybody should be. I kind of just welcome everybody for who they are. And then if I don't like that, then I just remove myself. Okay. Okay. And okay. last question, what is one, uh, what is one goal you have? And what is something you're doing now to accomplish that goal? Um, <laughs> my goal, well, finish in nursing school for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm in my last year, so I'm almost there. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And are you local? Yes. Okay. So I live in Maryland. Baltimore. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What the freak? Is it a long distance problem for you? A little bit. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is it a deal breaker? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go! Right. Three! So, you That's did have three. your balloon unpopped for her, why so? We still got uh, no. I didn't really mind the soft spokenness. Ain't nothing else. I know uh, she's just probably nervous because she's up here, but uh, the last answers she just gave were pretty good, so, okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons um, popped, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's thank go ahead and give it up for her, guys. <laughs> thank you. That's three. How much all time right, we got left? Let's oh, go ahead dang. and bring out our next single lady. Dang. The last single lady got, is that six minutes? Six minutes? Oh, yeah. She must get That's popped three. on. That's three. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Sequoia. Sequoia, how old are you? 21. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a nail tech. Okay, very nice. Oh, what are some things you look like for nail in a man? Some things I look for in a man. She can you do your feet. You have to believe in God. You have to be outgoing. You She's have pretty. to be passionate about what you like. What is happening? Passionate about who you want. Okay, <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers? Some of my deal breakers, um, if you don't believe in God, mm. Um, probably 
if you don't have anything going for yourself. Okay. And if you have kids. All right. <laughs> yeah, we, ain't got no kids. Uh, we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to you guys and see what why they ended up popping. Oh. Okay, I have to stand Ooh. right here. Okay. Okay, Yo. if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh Gerard, I'm twenty six. Uh first it was the age, twenty one. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe could do it, but yeah, I'm not really aiming for that age. Okay. And then um just the outfit a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's wrong with your outfit? Uh the jeans, the shoes. Yeah, just my taste. Okay, yeah. solid. <laughs> now, is Gerard someone that's your type? Uh, the cameraman um, is green. Yes, he looks very put together. He looks like he got it going. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our next guy over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Daryl. I'm 27, and um, I have a son. Beautiful. I only have one young boy, but I do have a son, and so okay. wait I just figured wait that. He, why didn't you say that when the lady asked? Oh, I think she did. I think she did. I think I don't remember him having a son. No, and he's only one years old. I don't remember. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't remember him ever saying he had a son at all. Daryl, you on fraud watch? What's happening? What's when did what's, you have a really son? What's really happening? When did you have a son? <laughs> a year ago. Pop the balloon was only. A child. Though. Wait, so you came on that first pop the balloon and your son was only months old? Ain't there, I got, I got questions, brother. I got questions. I, I got questions. <laughs> okay. Now, before she said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. I'm gonna like have to go to his YouTube channel or something or, or something. Daryl, I got questions, bro. No. I got a lot of questions. We ain't got no questions. No, I do because now it's like, why am I learning? I didn't watch enough of you on these things. Why am I? Did he say this in a previous episode? That's what I'm saying. He's he's never stated that he he has a child, which he's not obligated. He's to. not but obligated some, to. But if somebody asks you if you have a kid, or if they make a generalization, like, do any of you guys have kids, and you don't say yes or no, or you just say you always say no. I don't know. Maybe don't he, maybe know. he just found I out he's an egg. Oh, she's a gorgeous woman. I I, I, I really like um I like your aesthetic. I like the uh, the diamonds in your teeth. Thank I think you. you're lovely. All right. Now is Daryl someone that's your type? Yes, I don't actually mind kids, but <laughs> I said that because a lot of you guys look like you would have kids. So, but if it's like, I don't oh. mind that. Hmm. Okay. Daryl, how we feeling when she said that? I, I just don't see a point in saying <laughs> that the kids was a problem then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Valley. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go on to our next guy. <laughs> we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Chi. I'm 28. Um, similar to what he had said, 21 is also kind of on the tad younger side for me. Um, and then maybe the style is really 20. my cup of tea exactly okay got you yeah mm -hmm. all right so same thing is he someone that you would go for yes but i get what he's saying because he's not really my path either mm. so but i understand that her okay. fit it's not wrong with her fit path. she could have just i feel like her pants very put a belt on stern very probably like one way mm. and i'm very open-minded i'm very all the way Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is King. I'm 24. Okay. Um, Style, you know. You were really pretty, though. I know you're not talking about style, bro. I've been letting you make it this whole episode, bro. I really have been, bro. But let's 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 keep it. Let's keep it a band because you just teed me up for the last time. Brother, you're wearing pajama pants and you're wearing a knitted cap. <laughs> and you're talking about style, bro. Let's keep it a band. It's a white t-shirt, some gray pajama pants. What are those Yeezys? I don't know if the those Yeezys guys. or not. I can't see it. But you're wearing a knitted cap. You look like a GTA custom character. This is something I would see a, a, a dude on GTA roleplay wearing, bro. With a smiley face backpack. Come on, bro. Yo, I Thank love your you. smile. You're really pretty. Um, when I go out, I like to dress. You know, okay. Then where is it I... at? Cause it's not here. Where is it at? 
You wearing parachute pajama pants, a white shirt, and a knitted cap that don't co go. Only thing it color schemes is with your your G Shock or whatever watch that is your Apple oh, Watch. Apple <laughs> <laughs> that's his. That's his fitness. That's his fitness update. Yeah, bro. What the <laughs> freak, bro? <laughs> I, bro, I never believe somebody coming here with a sunflower knitted cap talking about fashion sense. It and is. you built like goddamn Tim Tebow, and you man, eh, get this I dude. Know that, so I'm not really the feeling cap it. Is okay, cute, can I say this? One I don't give a crap last... if it's cute. Does it go with the fit though? Let's keep it a band. Let's keep it a thousand. Does it go with the fit? No, it don't go with the fit, but I'm just saying it's cute to me. Yeah, it's cute, but it don't go with the fit. My outfit, like, I was so late, but I promise you I would have put it on way better, but thank you. I like your outfit, though. I appreciate that. Why are we lying? Let's <laughs> mm -hmm. keep it right, thank you. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm junior, I'm 31, and it's just the age. That's, uh, I typically try to stay around like 25, 26 oh, or older than myself. Yeah, she but, didn't get uh, no money. So I, I guess you were right. I love your whole Three. aura, it's just the age thing. I told you, Thank I told you, you boy, I, I, I be like knowing. <laughs> now, do you tend to date older guys, or? I'm open-minded, like I said. Mm. Um, I'm voting to be closed off, so. Got it. Yes. Okay. I have dated someone older than me, like seven years. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is junior someone that's your type? Mm-hmm. She Not. said I look like I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not really my type, the outfit. Well, I wouldn't go for it, but okay. I respect your um, decision. For sure. Thank All you. Right. And let's go to our last guy over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. And then I'm pissed off even more. His shoes don't even match with the watch or the hat. God. Hey, I'm Mark. And gosh. I'm, gosh. I'm Mark, and I'm 27. And, I mean... I didn't like the outfit, but obviously you could always change. Mm -hmm. Like she was a little, but the biggest thing was the age. Twenty one, just too young. I'm just good on the. I'm just good. Okay. But you are pretty. Thank great you. Great smile, great. Seem nice. So. Thank you. All right. And now is Mark someone that's your type? Yeah. Ooh. He is. Okay. What okay. makes him your type? I don't know. I like his confidence. I like his style. Okay. Yeah, I like his haircut too. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right, let's head on back. So, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we thank you so much for coming on. Thank let's you. give it up for her, guys. I'll take the mic. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right, everyone, thank you for tuning in on this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the link to the form will be in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and fill that form out. And also do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you all next time. If all else fails, you throw on a dress. That's all what right, y'all. That's what you do. Hey, this was a good episode. I like the, the, the people that got matched. I feel like they deserve to get matched. The people that didn't get matched, you know, I feel like dude on the end, big homie and the dude in the white suit, they were trying a little harder than the other two. I feel like homie with, with the Nikes and this jacket, let me show him again. I feel like he didn't get a fair shot a lot of this because he really didn't do nothing wrong. He just got popped on every single time. So uh, the baby pissed me off, bro. The baby pissed me off for sure, bro. Because it's just like, bro, it just be making me bad, bro. Like, it'd be like, like uh, it, is, it is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, it ain't nothing against him, man. Shout out to him. But, hey, man, this is our reaction to it. <laughs> Walking Dead drops tomorrow, so tune in, guys. Make sure y'all show some love to that. All right, y'all. Peace.